pathways to represent our journey and our sentiments of how the ID has played an influential role in our lives. Unlike Ashtosh, I had joined pathways in 2010 and coming from Russia, from a Russian board and from the school of thought, I joined the PYP program in pathways. Now, believe me when I say that I wouldn't be able to stand here today speaking in English, representing my school and representing my journey if it wasn't for pathways. Uh, speaking fluently in English was once an unimaginable thought, but the primary years program welcomed me and helped me to stabilize and adjust to the new environment. From these skills, I learned to become a risk taker as I accepted new challenges and communicated with the world in order to inquire and become an open, an open minded and caring individual. Obviously, I talk about the IB learner profile when I say that these skills were really taught to me from a very young age. The fact that I was exposed to these skills from a very young age really solidified my individuality and helped me transition myself into the NYP program. Well, unlike Samira, uh, I joined Pathos in 2015, during the ninth grade, and my journey was quite different. I mean, I was previously studying in Africa in the DR of Congo, and I was doing the IDCSE program. But when I joined the IB in Pathways, all I can say is a really good decision. I mean, the curriculum of the NYP, to be really honest, is very similar to that of the IDCSE, with similar topics, subjects, and assessments. The whole idea of the IB is not to cram information and write your answers. Rather to write your answers, applying your individual knowledge and applying it to certain concepts. And the program allows you to explore what you want to be and develop your life skills and so on. Therefore, I feel that I feel that the MIB really helped me to transition myself as an individual into pathways. We were the first batch of NYP in pathways and the first to have experienced the terrifying thought of ESSs. that really haunts you until you give the e-assessments. Suddenly changing from pen and paper examinations to frantically trying to increase our typing speed and having test competitions in class, it's difficult. I will remember this whole experience of e-assessments for a really long time. The whole concept of sitting in front of a laptop for two to three hours seems daunting at first. It might be at first. But when we got accustomed to the concept and we did practice, um, we only noticed that the assessments were much better than expected. And having videos and motion graphs, various interactive tools for our assessments, the, the assessment actually became fun to write. Uh, two hours seemed less and our essay seems very longer than our expectations. From OPBLs to math to sciences, the whole process of the examination became much more smoother and friendlier.
as I can in front of a crowd right now. And um, this project really helped me express my individuality and further develop my skills and uh, my communication skills. Uh, and I believe that what the Ashraf you see today is partly because of the person body. Now moving on to something that we're currently a part of is the diploma program. Now the diploma program is an academically challenging course Right. 
NGOs to apply our concepts and related to various tools and theories in the diploma program. And uh, lastly, I think we can talk about CAS as a very important element. Uh, CAS is creativity, activity, and service. And not only are they mandatory in the life of IT students, they help in the whole holistic approach, the holistic development of an individual. Um, we have various platforms to visit our talents and our leadership qualities right from the students council to the to the interact club, the various cast clubs, the sports, so the list just keeps going on. I mean we have the MUN conference, the Down Square conference, the OK conference that was talked about, business fest. And all of these service cast experiences. Now we have a student body undertaking many pro projects to help the environment around us. I mean, wherein we've adopted almost 14 village schools uh, and taking care of the numerous water bodies around our community. And we've recently put this exchange program with the, with the school from Singapore, Temasek Polytechnic School, and it was truly an energy performance. Now, all of these various activities have enough, uh, enabled us to work differently under different types of environments and pressures. And it is a way that has helped us to prepare better for life at university and the outside world. It helps us to exhibit our attitude for the academic sphere. And I also think that in going to college next year and just being in grade 12, the final year of senior school, knowing that apart from classic knowledge, we would also gain necessary skills which would always prove to be beneficial. Thank you for your patience and your cooperation. I really hope that this year is a lot of doubts about the ID. Um, I'm Ashtosh Walia. And I'm Samira Casey, the President and the Vice President of Senior School of Parkway as well. Thank you. Uh, I have been doing the IB for about seven years. This is my fourth year in the NYP, and I can easily say it's one of the most well-known and sought-out curriculums, and it's basically all that I've known. And I think the transition from PYP to NYP was difficult, but I think adjusting to it was one of my greatest achievements. Just adding on what you have said, I believe IB is a
help our communication skills. And I think we are given daily challenges, and I think that helps us manage our work and manage how much we have and really manage our time. And these are the skills that will really be required in future in employment. And that's why these ATL skills are such a core part of the MYP program. Just added on to the communication skills, as you can see here, the communication skills gives one an individual a certain sense of open-mindedness.
picture of you.